Caddis Maximus here again, this time with the Harbor Freight Sentec 66892 digital battery analyzer. A lot of the tool manufacturers have these little analyzers. They're okay. Um, they're best to use as a milliohm meter just to test the internal resistance of a battery. Um, but unfortunately, due to the nature of 12 volt batteries, if you just freshly charged it and then put this on, it'll say it's okay because this isn't a load tester. This isn't actually going to put a real, like, plugging in here or running a, a starter motor or anything like that to really determine how quickly it's discharging or how much the voltage drop is. It's just there to, you know, if your battery's just been in your car, you haven't run it for a couple days, and it'll be a little more accurate because you tell it the amount of cold cranking amps that your battery has, and then this kind of correlates that in with based on the voltage and the internal resistance to determine you know how much capacity it has but it is handy it can test charging systems and really it's best at telling internal resistance of batteries um what is kind of neat is you can use it against power supplies i'm just using a little transistor rec regulated linear power supply here to simulate a battery and it still picks up on the internal resistance i'll go ahead and show you the function real fast here You'll plug it in your battery, it'll flash. It does have a backlit screen, which I really like. Uh, over molded boot, uh, clip to hang it with. You'll just turn it on. Here, let's get this a little closer here. Really nice blue light, it goes into the self test. It says low, the battery I'm connected to is low, or we'll just call it 500 cold cranking amps. It'll actually now is testing my power supply which will have low voltage. As you can see, being a linear power supply, it's almost exactly 12 volts. It beeps, which is kind of annoying. I guess it just lets you know it's done. You can see, you can see the internal resistance of the power supply, 99 milliohms or 0.1 ohms. So it's not bad. Of course, due to the nature of it being a power supply, it's surprising, but it does say that it has no capacity left, which is interesting. Then you can press the select button and it'll give you an estimate of how many cold cranking amps are remaining. And it just toggles back and forth. The up and down arrows or the OK, none of that does anything besides the OK turning off the beat. So I just wanted to show you this neat little battery analyzer. And it's nice and easy to see and compact. And uh, please feel free to subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.